Hey everybody, this is Mr. Lee. I am your math teacher for MAT 152 this semester, which is an online statistics course. Um, I am coming to you right now from my bedroom because we are in the middle of a pandemic. A lot of us are stuck at home. Our access to campus is uh, really low, um, but student success is still really important to us. Student support is still really important to us, um, and we want to see you stay on track and uh, achieve your academic goals. So I wanted to navigate Blackboard with you a little bit. So let's do that now. When you access our Blackboard course, you land on the course content tab. This is where you will spend most of your time. Uh, but let's take a look at the Start Here tab. Um, you'll find a link to the syllabus, um, a portrait of me here, a video I made some time back on uh, tips for online uh, for success in online math classes and a digital calculator. Um, let's take a look at the syllabus a little bit. So the syllabus link is right here. I already have it pulled up. Please take the time to read through the syllabus. I'm going to highlight it with you here. Uh, the second page has how your grade will be calculated. There are two exams that are worth 10% each. Um, homework is worth 40%. You have a homework assignment due every Wednesday labs are worth 40 percent. You have a lab assignment due every Friday. And if you are able to print the last two pages, the last two pages are a pacing guide. Um, we are taking a week off for Thanksgiving. Um, and I also wanted to highlight here, so you'll see, we'll take week seven as an example. Uh, every Wednesday you have a homework due at 11.55. Every Friday you have a lab due. The exception to this is week six. For week six, instead of doing a lab assignment, you need to go take the midterm exam. And it's also in Blackboard. I can point it out to you here in a second. Okay, so please read through the syllabus. If you're able to print the pacing guide, I think that's really helpful. Uh, also in Blackboard, there's a link to the syllabus here. There's a link to Collaborate Ultra, which is um, an online meeting space like Zoom, so video conferencing um, platform built into Blackboard. And I, can, I have student hours every week um, that I can meet with you, so this is a space where we can meet. Um, there's also the course entry assignment. You need to go complete the course entry assignment. After you read the syllabus, please go complete the course entry assignment. If you do not complete it, uh, you will be automatically withdrawn from the course. It's a discussion post. It's not graded. Um, it should take you about five minutes. So please go complete the course entry assignment. Okay, let's take a look at the course content tab together. Um, there's a little bit of information on the textbook at the top. Um, we're using a free open source textbook, um, so you don't need to buy it. And throughout the course, what you need to read from that textbook is built in. Um, but if you if you want to uh, print it, or you can, if you want to print it all at once, you can. Um, and uh, if you wanted to buy a digital, if you wanted to buy a print copy of it, you can. It usually runs about twenty bucks. And if you search the name of the textbook, um, you can find it out on the internet. You can find it on Amazon. So um, everything you need to do for the course is listed out here. And I wanted to just pick a one random week to highlight here. So let's take a look at week 10. So week 10, um, we're covering the topic two sample hypothesis testing for paired means. Uh, week 10 starts November 16th. It ends November 20th. Okay. Uh, every week is structured the same. You have a reading from the textbook. So this week you need to read section 9.2 from the attached chapter. You have uh, publisher videos. So the first set of videos, are, or video in this case, um, are the publisher videos. And then the second set of videos are videos that I pulled out that I thought were helpful. Uh, sometimes they're videos that I made myself. Um, a lot of these videos highlight um, how to do things in the calculator. We use the calculator a lot. 
Um, you need something in the TI-83 family, so a TI-83, TI-83+, TI-84. Um, you can find these calculators on eBay, usually starting at $15. And uh, Andrew McKay's, which is a used bookstore in Winston-Salem, uh, sells them. I think they they start at about 40 bucks if you buy it from Andrew McKay's. Having a you need a calculator, um, so and then you can buy them from the bookstore. Um, you can buy them at Walmart, um, but they get to be a little bit more expensive if you buy them new. Usually new, they cost over 100 bucks, but you can find them used as cheap as 15 dollars. Okay, so there's videos. Second set of videos are videos that I picked out. Um, and then there's a homework assignment that's due on Wednesday. There's a lab assignment that's due on Friday. We're just going to look at this homework assignment. The homework assignment connects to a class called MyOpenMath. Um, there's no login that you need for this, um, but it's a free online uh, homework tool. Uh, this question is multiple parts. Um, you can, on a homework, you can submit a question. And if you get it wrong, you can click this Try Another Similar Question button. You can submit similar questions as many time as, times as you want until you get the question correct. When you get the question correct, you get full credit. You get unlimited attempts on the homework. I like to see strong homework grades. So if you are persistent with the homework if you're getting the support that you need um, you can you can earn a really strong homework grade and you're welcome to jump around the different questions all right this is what the homeworks look like <clears throat> let's take a look at the lab so let's scroll back down to the week that we were just looking at and let's take a look at the lab that would be due on this Friday. Okay, for the lab assignments, you get all of the questions at once. And look here, it says this is attempt one of three. So um, you can hit submit, and this would count as your first attempt. I'm just going to hit submit here. It will tell you your score. You can re-attempt the assessment so obviously I got a zero here. I would probably want to reattempt this. But only your last attempt is recorded. So if you earn an 80 on your first attempt and a 60 on your second attempt, it's the 60 that will be recorded. Um, so take so take note. Um, okay, so that's the highlights. Um, please reach out, uh, shoot me an email if you have any questions. Um, hopefully you are listening to this video uh, between Wednesday and Friday. Um, so we'll start our first proper week um, on September Monday, September 14th. Uh, we're looking at data collection and um, let's see, how long is the homework? You got 20 homework questions and some of them even have videos to help you. That one does too. That's nice. Okay. So please reach out if you have any questions.